he and Olu had blood in their mouths and from the nose and they were foaming white foam from the mouth. Nobody has made mention of the fact that Chime and Olu ate somewhere. And that was the last place they visited before the wet home. Questioning. As I speak to you, Davido has been reinvited for questioning and is currently with the DPO Lion Building and the investigating team. DJ Olu's father, the current governor of Ogo State. It is, it is pain that I've never felt before in my life. What's up, my people? How on a day? Waiting the happen, waiting this. So, welcome back to our channel. So, the spotlight today is going to be on David Doe and his six dead friends. Not one, two, or three, six. And guys, look at between. 2017 2021 he lost six of his friends these are close friends he hangs out with them private jet lifestyle um they spend a long time in the studio together they go to clubs party together in fact some of them are even close to david Do's family not just david Do. so this got people curious including david Do's fans then now what is going on with you Davido, in fact, some people believe that Davido was cursed. Others just said it's a coincidence that you know it can happen to anybody. But he said, even though it can happen to anybody, six. You know, I saw some comments then that says that believe that Davido must have used his friends for ritual purpose to boost his career spiritually. Now, did Davido really use his friends for rituals? I don't know. In fact, a Nigerian astrologer has got this to say. We're going to read it, okay? He said, so after looking at his chart, he was born on the day when a Mercury retrograde made ingress into Scorpio. What's this guy saying? Okay, let's continue. And he is born in Atlanta, meaning he's a star seed archetype and also meaning that he was born at the fall of the draconian empire so that he represents the new risen empire hence why he was born in atlanta what this means is that he has divine protection and whomever tries to come against him will be destroyed so i am afraid to say those six people who got destroyed were scheming scheming behind his back to destroy him but his protecting angels destroyed all six of them ah, that's, that's a lot there's a lot to process <laughs> another person says here and now only am the musician way him guys they do drugs there is more to all these deaths let's take a walk down memory lane my people i know that you're coming from dj Olu's burial yeah how did that go? What's your point? This nigga is really inside the car. These guys are really on top of the car. Oh, the CCTV footage, which I called for from the bar, also showed that the deceased was quarrelsome and even violent. In that same meeting, Davido confirmed that he left Sisha Bar without the deceased to a nightclub known as DNA. First, it was taboo. That was it was that was the first friend that died. Um, but before we uh, talk about taboo, let us um, talk about Chime, the death of Chime and DJ Olu, a talented DJ, very close to Obio, that's Davido. And these guys' parents are rich, especially DJ Olu, is from a rich home. In fact, they were found dead um, in a garage on Banana Island, Lagos, by 8 p.m. You know, the police got a distress call that two young men, aged 25, were found dead in a garage on Banana Island. And they rushed down there, you know. Before they got it, they, they were hoping that, you know, probably one of them is still alive or both of them. But it was discovered that these people were already dead before even the police arrived. I mean, these are close friends of Davido. According to the Lagos State Police Command, 
drugs were recovered from the scene i mean you know with blood coming out of their mouth and nose they said that these guys probably died as a result of excessive intake of hard drugs you will also recall that on the 7th of october 2017 at about 20 hundred hours the chief security officer banana island ocean parade ikoyi informed the dpo that two persons named olugbemi ga abiodun male of flat bill ocean parade banana island ikoyi and chime amechina male of the same address were found dead inside a bmw Salunka with registration number KJA 631AY, white in color, at an underground garage in the estate. The DPO Ekoi and his investigating team rushed to the scene and upon close examination of the victims, it was discovered that there were no visible marks of violence. However, a further search of the vehicle revealed some wrapped substances suspected to be hard drugs. The substances have been sent for analysis to determine what exactly they are. And the reports will soon be released. So they died while taking that. But, you know, um, the police never confirmed that. In addition, the autopsy report, the final autopsy report is still being awaited. Preliminary autopsy has been carried out, but the pathologist reveals that there is need for additional confirmation before it comes out with the final autopsy, which will state very clearly the cause of death. These two cases are being brought out in the public domain because the police have realized that it is generating a lot of interest both in social media and other uh, media um, outlets. And there is need for the police to keep members of the public abreast with investigation so that people don't jump into conclusion. I don't think we got an autopsy report after that. Maybe they did the autopsy and send it to the family, but according to police, he said they found drugs there. So that could have been the reason. His best friend's mom, it makes it happen. She rushed down to Ikoi. So, yeah. She lives um, very close. So she rushed down. And then she said the same thing. That when Mekli she saw Chime, she knew something was wrong. She said he was sweating. Mm. And he looked like he was sweating. And he and Olu had blood in their mouths and from the nose and they were foaming foam. white foam from the mouth and my other my junior sister said yes she saw him eating she saw him eating on snapchat and nobody has made mention of the fact that chime and olu ate somewhere and that was the last place they visited before they went home yeah. nobody mentioned um they saw him eating because he was in the video people were there chime was seated and olu was at the other side both of them were eating all i'm saying is we have to ask you please don't know it's all alive tonight we're fucking up today This nigga is really inside the car. These niggas are really on top of the car. DJ Olu's father is a billionaire. In fact, he's an oil magnet. His name is Dagbo Abiodun, the current governor of Ogun State. He wasn't governor at that time, though. <laughs> Yeah. 
Now, DJ Olu's father reacted to his death. He said that um, his son wouldn't have died had it been he returned to the United Kingdom where he was supposed to commence his postgraduate lessons. Let us read what the, exactly what the dad said. We were very close. I remember I would um, report Olu to my mother and she would say a tree doesn't fall from a tree. I saw him for the last time last week, Sunday, when he had lunch. Olu was always wanting to please me. He was supposed to go back to Coventry last week for his postgraduate school, but he begged me to allow him to stay for just one week because he wanted to commission his petrol station and car wash business. I begged him to go to school, promising him that I would help do everything while he was away, but he refused. If he had gone back to school, he wouldn't have died. Well, sad. Um, I know that you're coming from DJ Olu's burial. Yeah. How did that go? It didn't go so well because everybody started breaking down. I mean, but we'll move on. Olu wants us to move on. So. Yeah. Now, the next one is Tabu. The reason why I decided to talk about him after DJ Olu and Chimi is because Tabu's death caused a lot of controversies and drama for Davido. It was very heavy in 2017, and I'm sure Davido will never forget that moment the actress caroline danjuma called out david Doe. she's alleged to be in a relationship with tagbo in fact she discarded the insinuations that tagbo died of drunkenness she said no tagbo did yeah the report said then that tagbo died from taking 10 shots of tequila right so caroline danjuma came out said it's a lie that david Doe and his guys you know took tagbo to the General Hospital Lagos Island, dump his body there, wore caps to cover their faces and ran away. What? Caroline Danjuma didn't stop there. She released a, a post on social media accusing David Doe and his friends, some of his friends, of being behind Tagbo's death. She believed that Tagbo died mysteriously on Monday. Tagbo died on his birthday. And she said she didn't believe the whole report that Tagbo uh, took 10 shots of tequila and died of drunkenness. This was too heavy. This news, as simple as it sounds or funny as it sounds, the police invited Davido for questioning. After inviting Davido for questioning, they had to re-invite Davido again. They said there are some loopholes in this thing. These new revelations completely debunks Davido's claim that he did not know how the deceased got to General Hospital Lagos. For this reason, I have instructed the DPO Lion Building and the investigating team to again invite Davido and question him in line with these new findings. It is our intention to know why the victim was taken to General Hospital Lagos, dumped, and those who took him there fled the location without as much as notifying the hospital authorities or reporting to the police. That calls for questioning. As I speak to you, Davido has been reinvited for questioning and is currently with the DPO Lion Building and the investigating team. Davido's lawyer had a lot to do then. I feel like David's lawyer is chilling now because at that time, he was busy with the police. Shortly thereafter, you're all aware that one Caroline Danjuma, an actress and the victim's fiancé, published on her Instagram page that her boyfriend died in the company of friends, amongst whom was one David Adeleke, a.k.a. Davido. To be objective and in my usual style of fact-finding, I called for a pre-investigation meeting in my conference room. In that meeting were all parties, including family friends of the deceased, family and friends of Davido, and of course, Caroline Danjuma. Davido and his friends had to go back the second time, write another statement to prove they are innocent. This pushed the lawyer, Davido's lawyer, to release the CCTV footage they've got about Tagu. 
And in that video, we're going to read what Caroline Danjuma said, though. In that video, right, Tagbo was seen staggering, obviously drunk in that video and create, causing chaos, hitting everybody around. But you know that this guy is drunk in the video. They were pushed to do that because it was becoming more serious than they, they thought. The meeting confirmed the following, that the deceased, Tabu Umeike, on the date in question, met and had drinks with friends at Sisha Bar, amongst whom was the said uh, Davido. The bartender, who was also present, who served them the drinks, confirmed that the deceased had as much as 40 tots of tequila and exhibited clear signs of drunkenness. The CCTV footage, which I called for from the bar, also showed that the deceased was quarrelsome and even violent. In that same meeting, Davido confirmed that he left Sisha Bar without the deceased to a nightclub known as DNA in Victoria Island. He stated that it, he was only informed by some mutual friends of the victim's death at DNA Club. Autopsy has been conducted and the autopsy, the Preliminary interim autopsy reports reveals that the victim died of asphyxia, which in layman's term means suffocation. At the end of this fresh round of investigation, I will again let Ligotians know of our findings. At that time, David's career was beginning to gain momentum right he was one of the biggest artists in nigeria rising so fast this is dangerous on david's career so caroline danjuma uh said this let us read exactly what she said because she vowed that she will not keep quiet until justice is done in fact she was the one who inspired the line caroline save your drama i don't need it for a soap opera yeah, caroline, save your drama. I don't need it for a soap opera. david had to put that line <laughs> because Caroline Dajima actually left that memory inside of David Do that it even inspired the line she said here you gave your all when they needed your assistance you were always there for them tag you don't deserve this uh, this word is cruel I warned you but you were always acting Mr. Nice now they labeled you an alcohol addict which is a big lie I won't keep short a glass of NSC and cranberry get you tipsy uh, just a glass cool calm and minding minding your own bees was all you were all the lies they say are now to cover up if only you could wake up and speak for yourself i won't keep short only the wicked would act like it's nothing you call them your friends but they left you to die <laughs> she also posted an another one she said uh they only label you because they never knew you i could take a bullet for you because you were selfless never look down on no one playful and you knew your limits you were never boastful nor excessive you never drank past five shots of tequila even if you tried all you lived for all you hoped for and couldn't wait to achieve on your birthday is over now david doe denied this allegation well in 2000 and i think in 2021 caroline danjuma says she regrets calling out david doe or creating such drama on social media that's a lot uh, for a young man and david o was in his mid-20s almost affected his career because people were beginning to wonder like maybe caroline danjuma is saying the truth after taboo's death everything seemed calm david o keeps selling out shows continue to rise right until 2020 then it hit again his friend ahmed that's they call him King Jaffe lost his life. And David o, sad again. David o took to his Instagram page to mourn the death of his close friend. Uh, the cause of the death was, however, not stated. David o announced um, Ahmed's death with tears in his eyes. We don't know the cause of his death, like I said, but David o and his brother mourned him on Instagram. Sad that he lost a friend like that, a, play a playful friend like that. 
I can name, I can name, I can drop the name. Okay. Oh, is this special one? Ah, she said, I see the swinging. I don't know about it. Uh -uh. <laughs> 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 you touch some places that I've been touched in years. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner. <laughs> now, we got reports a few months after that. few months, so that's in December. Um, King Jaffe happened in April, right? In December, reports got out there that David O's bodyguard, I mean, this guy has been working for Davido for 11 good years. Davido's bodyguard lost his life. What is going on with Davido? His name is Tijani, or they call him TJ. Now, Davido released a statement after that. In fact, at this point, Davido said he's tired of getting hot, of being this way or feeling down. Before we read what Davido said, it was largely speculated that this guy, that's the bodyguard, must have died of complications from a long time battle with diabetes please tell me i'm dreaming my tj gone what i'm gonna do without you uncle tj eh? 11 years you did all for me put me before you at all times all the times i wouldn't uh wanna wake up for a show or flight you carry me like a baby in the car no matter what i did right or wrong you were there for me to allow me spend money sometimes no problem every time david don't worry i will use my card you were such a big person with a baby heart everyone loved you i want to wake up late for a show so you come and carry me again i don't even know what i'm typing man r.i.p on kotijani tired of being strong so davido said that he's tired of being strong yeah but even though he said that little did he know that another one is about to hit and this one hits really really hard Obama DMW. You find this guy with David O all the time in private jets and shows. In fact, this guy died a few days after I was spotted in the in the studio with David O. That's how close they were. Uh, it was rumored that uh, this guy uh, was Tiwa Savage's you know, boyfriend. Rumored. Okay, Steve Savage released a statement reacting to that. I mean, only few people even knew um, about his child. Nobody knew that this guy has, has got a child, Abdul Malik. After his death, we got reports that, you know, he's got a child, a grown child, who, who in fact is in 300 level at Deleke uh, University studying engineering. Yeah, but Steve Savage promised to take care of that child. And Davido, that struck Davido so hard. That Davido was broken. In fact, it was hard for Davido to attend shows around that time. And he promised to take care of um, uh, Obama DMW's child. The badass himself. I know he's not in a good mood right now. But, but may Almighty Allah give you the strength, the courage, and I miss it so, so, so much. This is, this is pain that I've never felt before in my life. Um, you know, imagine somebody being with every day for the past what, almost 10 years, every single day. And, you know, and now you're, you're, you're not here with us. You're, you're arrested. He did so much for us, for changed a lot of people's lives. And I promise to keep whatever you are doing on it, to keep it going and keep it strong. Be strong for your family, be strong for my league, be strong for your daughter, your mom. And I became everything positive around, everything you were involved in. 
I'll do my best to keep you alive. I love you, brother. See you meet again. Written again. If I lose you to one of the boys online. Well, guys, that is it. What do you think about this? I mean, it's been how long now? The last one happened in 2021. So 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Five years now. Thinking about that, what would you say about the death of his friend? If you're given the opportunity to speak again on this matter, leave in the comment section below your thoughts about davido's friend do you think it's spiritual do you think that you know there's something wrong with davido there's a curse on davido or it's just coincidence or it's just something they really need to look into like i said leave in the comment section below your thoughts guys that's where i'm going to hold it thank you so much for watching to see you next time peace